Okay, today's video, guys. I can't even lie, like, I ain't gonna trip. I don't know. I'm sh- What? Tell some boys, okay? You need to stick around because I think I'm about to save you some coins. I just went ahead and tested out Asda makeup. Now, if you don't know what Asda is, it is a UK shop. It's like a supermarket, like it's a grocery shop. However, they have a makeup range called George. It's basically hella affordable makeup, you know, makeup on a budget. And I thought it'd be cool to actually give it a go, like give it a chance, see if it's any good. This makeup look, guys, like this sort of copper cut crease, you know, glowy skin, red lip. This is done using the Asda George makeup range. I don't want to give anything away, okay? But let me just say, I did not expect the outcome at all. Please watch. You just got, you got, you got to watch, guys. You really, you really do. You really do. That's all I have to say. I'm gonna quit the intro chat. Let's just get into this, man, because y'all need to know. Y'all need to know what's up. See you and my naked self in a sec. Okay, we are here, Asda. You can probably see we're gonna go to the george makeup bit see what they have i'm hoping it's good but let's just go let's do it let's do it keep up with you girl keep up man. <laughs> <laughs> keep up. so we are at the george makeup stand they actually have quite a bit like i don't know what i was expecting but like not this much and then they also do stock like rimmel in maybelline as well foundation wise they have matte and they also have over here. <laughs> Matte and moisturising, which is cool, so there's different skin types. Y'all know me, Oily Mess, she's coming with me. Oh my god, these little palettes. That one is so good. They have like colour and neutral. Let's see what we have. Highlight! I yeah, literally have like a million highlighters, but I still get excited about a highlighter. I don't have a problem, I promise. Oh my god, they actually have setting spray. <laughs> hey guys, come in, come in, come in, come in. These are the lashes that they have. <laughs> They're not bad, I feel like... If you're uh, new to lashes, that'd be pretty good, but y'all know me. If I'm gonna wear lashes, give me some lashes. So I'm gonna like, skip those. You know what, the mascaras look pretty popular. Like, look how empty, there's two that are empty. Dull face, we got a waterproof pool party. Um, why is that, look at that, why is that product green? Look at that brow product. Why is she green? Can you see that? There's no brow products that are actually unopened, so I'm not gonna do brows. Stick to my benefit. Okay, let's get home. Let's give it a go. Just put me teeth whiner in. Don't mind me. Okay, my lips are crusty, dusty, musty. You, you just know. Leave the premises. Also, I've just realised I need to start using my pudge, 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 <laughs> my fudge purple shampoo because. I need like the white blonde back. Anyway, hi, hello, let's just get into this video. Thank you, Cam. Asja, Asja, Asja. I literally don't even remember what I bought. Ooh, that looks, okay. Starting with skin at the base. I picked up this little guy here. This is the Stay All Day Primer. It says that it prolongs makeup wear and it's for all skin types too. Oil free, okay, hi. Hello. <laughs> Listen. I don't think I've ever shat myself so much. <laughs> oh, there's another little seal. I will do it. Got it. Okay, that looks interesting. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and actually apply this all over the skin. I was gonna stick to the T-zone, but I think that this kind of primer can go kind of everywhere. I don't know why, but I thought it was gonna feel quite thick, but it actually feels quite refreshing. I can tell that it's seeping into my skin as well, like my skin is taking it in. Lil Saki, which we love. I mean, listen, primer's a primer, you know? <laughs> feels and looks okay so far, but how will the other products sit on top? Let's find out. Let's dive in. Foundation. I don't know why, but I'm low-key dreading this. I don't wanna like judge too quick or anything, but like this bit kind of scares. Not to be judgmental, but I'm being judgmental. <laughs> Typically, foundations in this kind of packaging aren't normally, they kind of shit sometimes. Let's find out though, let's find out. This is the perfectly even foundation. I'm gonna remember that when I'm reviewing this. It says it's a skin perfecter and it's also vitamin enriched. I think it has vitamins A, E, and F in. It's for all skin types and it also has SPF 30 in too. So it kind of covers like a wide range of areas. This is the matte version. I believe if my like little brain can remember. They had a luminous one for obviously drier skin types. Matte, always you know. Cut. 
this on the floor. I got the colors Chai and Golden Honey. I think I'm gonna be a mix of the both. Color range wasn't the best. We're not talking like 50 shades here. Okay, I don't know anything about the coverage. Let's shake them up. This here is Chai. It's actually a really nice yellow undertoned shade. And this one is Golden Honey. That is like, that's a tanned shade. There's quite a big jump here. Let's give them a little mix. I'm gonna do half and half as well. Hey, I'm not mad at that. I'm gonna start off with a brush just because I feel like I can get maximum coverage with it. Let's just go in guys. Let's go in, apply her to the skin and see how she looks. Okay, why am I not mad at that? Oh, there is a strong aroma. I mean, I don't really know what that smell is. Uh, okay, I didn't want to um, foundation my hair, but okay. Do you know what? So far she's applying really, really nicely. It's actually quite thick, but it's going on evenly. It actually is sitting on the skin really nicely and the color is not bad at all. In fact, I feel like it's a shade that I would actually normally wear. The one thing I will say though is I notice it feels quite sticky where it's quite thick. It's got that like pull to it, but hello coverage. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome. Guys, so far, why is this a vibe? This foundation is literally a few pounds. She's just giving me it all, you know? Cakey and heavy looking, not today. I'm like low-key shook. I uh, don't know how to feel right now. Genuinely pretty impressed. Like, look. So far, so good. Let's do a little bit of concealing because, oh child, I need it. We actually have a liquid concealer. This is called the Brightening Concealer. It says it's antioxidant and it has a matte finish. I got the color light, which actually looks like it's going to be pretty, pretty good. I like to highlight as well with my concealer. Okay. You guys know I love a good bit of concealer. Okay. I don't like this applicator. Listen, I like concealer. That is more like it. That's like the third time of going in. The actual applicator feels quite hard and uncomfortable to use underneath my eyes and it doesn't hold that much product. A little bit on the chin, nose, forehead. You guys know the drill. I can be bothered to move, okay? Damp Beauty Blender, let's blend her out. I wanna see how this under eye blends out. Effortlessly, apparently. Okay, brightening, I get. There's not that much coverage though. But creds where creds is mother effing Jew. That looks so lightweight. It doesn't even look like I've added anything extra underneath my eyes. What the hell is going on? Is there a camera somewhere? Hello? Am I hating my skin right now? No, I am not. That's how I feel right now. We gotta, of course, set this all in place. I have this little guy here. This actually reminds me of when I like first started doing makeup. Like this is like OG, throwing it back. This is the Get Set Translucent Setting Powder. 99.9% .9 of the time I get translucent in my powders just because I don't wanna risk like effing up my face. She is white, man. Imagine if like my face goes white. Clean brush, dab in. Let's hit the under eye first. I probably just looked like possessed then. I was like, <laughs> definitely has taken the shine away. I'm just kind of doing my whole face as well. I'm just sort of using tapping motions just so I don't disturb the product underneath. It actually feels hella lightweight on my skin. Like it doesn't feel dry and it doesn't look powdery. It's just giving that sort of soft matte finish to the skin, which is my favorite. Definitely mattifies, which I mean, hello. I'm not mad about like I add the glow and life back to my skin with other products, but yeah, she's just a translucent setting powder. There's not much more to it. Up next, we have the bronzer. Two shades I picked up just because in the shop I couldn't decide. They're called the Matte Diva Bronzer. I picked up caramel and cocoa. Cocoa is a lot darker, so I think I'm gonna go for caramel. I get it. Here is what she looks like. I'ma just... Hmm. Lord knows I need some color back to my skin because I'm looking too eggy for my liking. Do you know what really drew me in about this product is the fact that it's a matte bronzer because I'm just not a shimmery bronzer kind of girl. Right, let's... <sighs> okay, product. Let's buff her on. Hitting all the usual spots, guys. Cheeks, sort of jawline, chin area, and also my forehead as well. Just kind of the perimeter. Do you know what? So far, I don't actually think it's that bad. It's kind of a little patchy. I feel like it's really clinging to this 
area here. I don't think it's that clockable though. Like you wouldn't look and be like, oh girl, you need to, she's patch. You just really have to give her like a nice blend. And the color is pretty freaking nice too. I mean, I like quite a warm bronzer, but it's not overly orange or overly red. I wouldn't say it's my favorite product, but it's not bad either for the price. You really can't complain. Okay, let's add even more color back with a little bit of blush. Y'all know I love blush. This blush color looks right off my street. This is the blush queen. I don't make the rules. Listen, as to told me. This is their little blusher. This is in the color Peach Punch, which you guys know peach blushes are right up my street. They're my most reached for blush color. I believe that this is matte. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, it's kind of powdery. The pigment. Look at that. I literally tapped in that twice and look at my brush. She is not playing around. I think I went a little... A little ham, I was a bit optimistic. I mean, I know I love blush, but okay, we just need to calm down, sir. This kind of color though, I just love it. I feel like it warms up the cheeks perfectly and I feel like it like marries with the bronzer really well and you just can't go wrong with a peachy blush. I feel like it goes with so many makeup looks. She's kind of cute, right? I mean, it's a little chalky and powdery, but then on the face, it's blending out fine um, and the pigment is insane. My little tip would be watch out, okay? Cause she'll just, she's there, she's gonna say hi. She's not shy, but yeah. She's nice. Highlight the glow. Okay, there was a lot to choose from and I did pick up more than I needed. I only have one face and I got one, two and a highlight palette. These are the two that I have first of all. So these are the glow highlights. They're like baked bronzers apparently, which that is not a baked bronzer. The gold one here, this is Aphrodite. That is an insane gold. That's like a true gold. And then the pink one is called Rose Quartz. Let's give them a little swatch. Um, excuse me. I mean, who gave you permission to do that? That is pigment, man. I knew in the pan they look shiny, but like even on the skin. So we have those to choose from, or I also got the four shade highlighter palette. It looks like this and inside you get four highlighter shades, a variety of colors. You know, you've got the icy colors, you've got cool toned, warm tones. And there's also quite a good selection for different skin types in here, which is exactly why I picked it up. If the highlighters are good, then it could be quite a good little palette to get because you got variety. Let's do the white in this color and also the pink. In fact, no, let's just do them all. You kidding me. Guys, look at that. What should I do? I'm literally stuck. You know what? I'm gonna use one of the single ones on this side and then I'll use the palette on this side so that we can try both. I'm gonna go in dry to begin with. That is definitely gold. Like, look at that. The shine though. What is happening? <laughs> Deceased. Can someone please inform me why that literally looks wet? There's no glitter chunks. It's not chunky. Okay, palette time. Palette time. I'm gonna take sunset. This is like a lighter gold. Oh, okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. Do you know what? I actually feel like this one is a bit more intense, like instantly. This one, sort of, I build it up and it become like, hi. Whereas this one, I feel like product picks up a little a little better on the brush. However, the results are actually pretty similar. Let's just hit the forehead area as well. And then of course the nose. Oh. I mean, guys, it is safe to say the Asda Glow did not let the team down. You know what? I'm actually super impressed with my skin so far. There is not anything that I wish I didn't put on. All the products have worked well together and everything looks pretty good on my face. <laughs> okay, skin, good so far. Let's do eyes. I'm actually so ready to do eyes, guys, because this little palette is like the cutest little thing ever. I mean, if you're into your warm tones, you're literally gonna die when you see this, okay? Look at this little palette. Oh, this is like the perfect warm palette. So this is their eyeshadow four shade eye pigment palette. This is in the color amber. From what I can see, there's two matte shades and two shimmer shades. The colors in here look so insane. If I think of warm colors, this is genuinely what I think of. Like you've got an orange, you've got that sort of coppery red, a copper shimmer and a gold shimmer. I can't resist guys, I need to swatch, okay? <laughs> okay, they're the mattes. And then these are the shimmers. I don't mean, 
know how to feel. <laughs> not gonna get carried away though, because I always say this, but an eyeshadow can swatch well, but it's all about how it performs on the eyes. Am I right, ladies and gents? Don't worry, don't forget it. My eyes are already pretty much primed from the concealer that I put on earlier. Oh. What to go for? There's so many shades. <laughs> Let's dip into the orange to begin with. Guys, this is gonna go in our crease, burn it up to the brow. Oh, me God. I just died. I'm fine. Fine. <laughs> that is what you call pigment. Look at that. Do you know what as well? It's buffing out beautifully. Like it's giving that nice sort of fade up to the brow. Dip in. Just build her up right in that crease a little bit. Hey, okay, now with another brush, I'm going to deepen everything with this shade here. So I'm just going to focus that right in the crease. I mean, it's blending out beautifully, but it doesn't look too different to the orange. I feel like the orange is coming off like a ready orange, so they kind of just blend into one. However, it's, it still looks good. I kind of wish I had a dark brown just to put like right in here, just to deepen everything. However, the pigment and the color payoff is actually insane. We're gonna get our mitts involved, okay, in these shimmers. We're gonna do it. I wanna try and make the most of this palette and use it how I would probably use it. So we're gonna do a little half cut crease. Back in with their concealer. Take a little bit on the brush. Okay, cool. Now that that's done, we can put a little shimmer, shim shimmer. Before I put any shimmer on, I'm just gonna go in with the translucent powder and just set the concealer, just to make sure that the eyeshadows we put on don't cling to the wet concealer and go all patchy. We're just gonna add a little bit more of that red eyeshadow on the outer corner, just to fade the concealer into the shadow nicely. That's not gone patchy, guys. I always feel like when you put on that outer corner, it's like the moment of truth. Will this effort, will this not? Risque, but we're good, we're gooch. Let's do the lighter color in the inner corner. Oh my God. Can y'all see that? What the frick? That is dry as well. That is beautiful. That's like duochrome. It's like a ready gold. I'm actually obsessed with this color. Like I'm not even joking. And this coppery shade, I can put like here. <laughs> what? Okay, I was gonna put here, but literally nothing is coming off the brush. Just like crumbling away. Oh. Great. Maybe if I wet it, we might get something. No, I don't like that copper. Nope, nope, nope. Literally nothing is coming off on my eyeball. It's just like chunk, but it does feel so different to the gold. It feels so chunky and dry. Her, we're not a fan of, but her, she's cute. Do you know what I've also noticed as well is that the fallout on this palette really isn't bad. In fact, I don't even really think I've seen any. Okay, this palette gets a thumbs up from me. Minus that copper shade, but listen, you gotta take the good with the bad. I've managed to do an eye look that one, I would totally wear again, and two, that I would always do. Lashes and mascara. Um, I do have a mascara, but I don't have lashes. I also do have lashes, but uh, they are not my cup of tea at all. I know that I just get them and like not like them at all, so just, I don't wanna waste the time. But like I said, I did get a mascara. So this is the Curl 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 Ultra Black Curling mascara this is in black of course now guys 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 basically what i get from this is that this is gonna curl that's like the big thing we're looking for curl oh i actually really like that wand it's like curved and it's a plastic wand and it doesn't look like there's a shit ton of products on there which is good let's just go in whoa okay i already love the wand so much this is gonna sound so weird okay oh Fuck me life. You know one of those ones that feel like they're grabbing every single lash? That is one of, oh my god, I actually love this mascara. Stop it. It is grabbing every single lash, separating them, adding the perfect amount of like thickness and it's lengthening as well. What more could I ask for? That is nice. Do you know your dream? Oh god, I need to sneeze and I've just done my mascara and I'm gonna get mascara everywhere. Okay, she's gone. Okay, ladies and gents, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my own lashes. If you're wondering what they are, they are by Doll Beauty in the style Danielle. They've actually been a fave of mine at the moment. I'm just applying lashes as well because I feel like it will just completely look. Okay, so that is one eye complete. What do you guys think? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> the palette performed so good. Of course, I still have the other eye to do. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna head off camera, just repeat the same thing. And then we'll be back to do lips, set and spray the final little finishing touches. Catch you in two secs. <laughs> Hello, hi, I'm back. 
both eyes are done. I struggle during that, okay? And I'm struggling now. My room is so hot that I generally feel sick. So love that for me. Could just like vom everywhere, but it's fine. Lips, okay, there was actually like a decent selection, but there was so much in the Asda that I went to that was out of stock that really my only lip color choice was red. But luckily I think it will go over the eyes quite well. It might be like a lot, but hey. I am gonna go ahead and line my lips with my own lip liner just because I didn't manage to pick one up. But I know that if I don't do this, it's just gonna be a hot mess, you know? And I'm here to judge the product, not my skills. <laughs> I'm just gonna line them as I normally would. The lip color, this is a liquid lipstick. This is the matte lip liquid lipstick. This is in the color red carpet. It actually looks like a pretty decent red. I'm more of like a blue red girl as opposed to a pink red. So my fingers are crossed okay that it's gonna be good. I'm scared. Oh yeah, that is a nice solid red. Guys, that one dip just covered my entire lips in color and it's so opaque as well. It feels, um like really comfortable as well. It's a slightly thicker formula, but I love this color of red. Obviously the longer I have this on, the more I know about how comfortable and like drying it is or whatever. It's not transfer proof though, but none of the colors come off my lips, but it does come off slightly on my hands. Like, oh yeah, oh girl. Guys, hello real quick. I have an update, okay? Ignore my eyes, I just took my lashes off. Um, But I've just noticed my lipstick, okay? I just had fish and chips for dinner. I was there enjoying me fish cake and me chips. But look at my lipstick. It is literally not budged. Now that's impressive. The final thing to do guys is setting spray. So this is the vitamin enriched setting spray and it has acai extract, aloe vera and vitamin B3. That actually sounds pretty good. Oh, it's quite wet. <laughs> it smells like greens, like like plants. She is fierce. Guys, this is the finished look. What do you think? I know it's a little full on, you know, we've got like full on eyes, full on lips, um, but obviously it's just like, we're just testing the range. There's a couple things that I maybe wouldn't like dabble in again, maybe like the bronzer. Honestly, everything else. I'm into. Fingers crossed, nothing breaks me out. Nothing broke me out, guys. No reactions, no anything. I don't have sensitive skin, though, so that probably helped, but just wanted to let you know. Or just, like, makes anything go crazy, but so far, so good. Genuinely impressed. All I can say is, guys, if you have an Asda near you, get your asses down there and give some of these products a go, because you might, you might just find some today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe as well before you go. Join the fam. We do put some cool stuff over here. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and taking the time to watch it. Uh, I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you all very soon with a brand new video. Stay cool. Um, and yeah, see you soon.